channel. Today's class I am going to teach about static latches principle. The static memory is uses the positive feedback to create the bistable circuit. So in this bistable circuit it represents two numbers. One is the logic 0 and another one is the logic 1. So now I draw the bistable circuit. So in this circuit two inverters are connecting cascade. So it's an inverter 1. This one inverter 2. So VI1 is the input of first inverter. Output of the inverter is V01. So V01 is the output of the first inverter. So this output is given to input of second inverter. So it represents VI2. So VI2 is the input of second inverter. Then output of the second inverter is VO2. So this VO2 is feedback to input. So output of the second inverter is connect to input of the first inverter. So VO1 equal to VI2. VO2 equal to VI1. So first inverter output is equal to second inverter input. Second inverter output equal to first inverter input. Now I draw the voltage transfer characteristics for inverter 1 and inverter 2. So y axis represent VO1, x axis represent input value VI1. So first inverter voltage transfer characteristics like this then now I draw the second inverter voltage transfer characteristics so this characteristics like this y axis represent output voltage x axis represent input voltage so this is the voltage transfer characteristics for inverter 1 this one is inverter 2. So inverter 1, inverter 2. So now just by combining these two characteristics, we will get like this. So combining these two characteristics, We will get like this. So in this characteristics, we have a three points. So this one is A, this one is B, this one is C. So in this characteristics, A and C. So A and C is the stable. So stable operation. This B is the unstable. So in this characteristics, output is represent here VO1 and VO2. So input represented x-axis, VI1 and VI2. So in this characteristics, A and C is the stable, B is the unstable. So when the gain of the inverter is greater than 1. So when the gain of the inverter is greater than 1 in the transient region in the transient region A and B is the stable region A and B is represent stable C is represent metastable so C is metastable. When the gain of the inverter is greater than 1 in the transient region, A and B represent stable, C is represented as a metastable. Then, so another name of this bistable circuit is flip-flop. 
So flip flop is a single bit, one bit storage device. One bit storage device. It store either zero or one. So another common name of the bistable circuit is called as a flip flop. So flip flop is stored uh, single bit data, either zero or one. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.